What's up y'all, Fisherman Squad here, and today is a beautiful day. I'm on a pier this morning, so let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to get a good video done for y'all today, and you'll be seeing this probably Monday or Tuesday. Right now I have one line out. I'm about to rig my other line and see what happens. Today I'm using blood worms, shrimp, and um, salmon. So we're gonna see what happened today. Um, I'm probably gonna be here for about four to three hours or so. Let's see how the day goes and um, depends on what time, what, what type of catches I'm getting and stuff like that. But whatever it is, it's gonna be a catch clean cook. You already know that. So stay tuned and if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn post notification on, and also tell a friend about the channel that you know will enjoy these videos. Um, thanks to everyone that's been checking out the videos and please, Hit the like button, comment below, tell me whatever is on your mind after you watch the videos, all right? And thank you for being a part of this channel. I'll see you when I get on something. So guys, look at this, right? I got me a piece of salmon right there, right? And on this one, I got a piece of shrimp. So I wanna see which one is gonna catch something first. I'm gonna cast it out right now and make it sit and see what happens. Still a little bit early. The tide is um, coming in still, so I don't know what's gonna happen in the fuel. So let's just keep the fate, get this out there and see what happens. Okay, good. Not one of my best casts, but that's okay. So guys, I'm trying not to talk too much and re record. I want to record action, but there's no action going on out here. I mean, <laughs> the water is nice. The day's sunny, but the fish just aren't hitting. I don't know what's going on. They just aren't hitting. And um, I don't know. So I'm hoping to get on something real soon because if not, I'm just going to leave and go home because I'm getting bored. I'm very bored right now. So let's just let's just see what happens. That's it. Look a baby porgy. Biting. Circle hook in the corner of the mouth. Which is good because all I gotta do, take the hook, pluck it out. He's good. Right? We can't take two L at one time. Nothing. Gone. Jesus. Mm. So both my rods was going off. I got another baby right here, so I'm gonna put him back in the water. Yep. Let's get rid of him. They biting now. He look upset. Why you look upset, man? Huh? Why you look so upset? You have a big brother? Call him. Send him over here, sir. Oh, that's her? That's a porky. You can tell when it's a porky. They pull like hell. Yep, you can tell. That's a nice one. <laughs> Hold him up, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. So, guys, day two. Trying to finish up this video right now. The sun is out here. The 
it's bright bright two lines out i just met um no mind being on camera right what's your name martin just met martin, yeah, martin. martin. big up to martin yeah all right he got a youtube channel too i'm gonna put it in the description below you know yeah. so you can check out his channel just like all that. right we mm -hmm. out here fishing right now chilling yeah. all right all right all right so yeah so the tide is high right now very high so basically the porgies are on a break <laughs> so <laughs> i just caught a little um black black fish i should have showed it but it was too small and i just threw it right back so right now the lines are out so i'm just waiting to get on something so as soon as i get on something i'll come back to you guys all right day two trying to finish up the video day two guys look at the crab right there he's right there see him right he's going underneath the rock that's how they steal your bait they take your line with your bait and they crawl underneath the rock with it he's right there i don't know if you guys could see him he's right there sitting right there and then you have some baby ones right there you see those ones right there those two if you look dead center in the video there's two baby ones sitting up right there well, there's a whole bunch of them on that rock right there see that is absolutely amazing stuff like that is what i don't like that red cup right there disgusting disgusting all those little fish whenever you see those guys running guess what something is chasing them well both my lines are out I'm still trying to finish up this video from yesterday. Well, this is day three, you know? So hopefully I get on something and get something done today. I got something on my line, guys. Oh, oh. maybe a sea robin, of course. I don't know what it is, but I got something on my line. Yes, I got me a poor gig, good. There we go, guys. Okay. So, catch, clean, cook. Caught me a porgy. Guess what we're going to make with this? We're going to make a blackened fish sandwich with this porgy right here. Okay? Blackened fish sandwich. Good. Okay, guys? Woo! All right. All right. So guys, listen up, I finally caught the porgy. Oh my God, three days, three days. Nice keeper right here. So you already know I'm happy about this and I'm just thankful. Three days, you know, I'll take it. Three days, say hi. Okay, run down the head right here. Now this porgy has been in the fridge. For a couple of days since I caught it. Oh, there we go. It's not, it's absolutely not the way frozen that I want it to be. Frozen. Oh, there we go. all that meat <laughs> i hate filleting porgies i like to have all the meat to myself you know what guys actually not bad that's the first fillet right there and i went over the stomach not bad at all okay i want to make sure i get all the head meat here okay here we go Remember guys, let me know what I'm doing wrong. How I can do this much better. I'm new to this thing right here. Okay, there we go right there. Come up. Good. Yep. Ooh, ooh. 
big mistake. It's all a learning process for me. I'll be careful with the knife. The knife is absolutely sharp. Okay, so let's get all this meat out of here. I don't want to cut myself on camera, that one would be nice. I'm having a hard time, but that's okay. I'll get to that. Jaleel, stop with the door, please. Thank you. That's my son, guys. Making a wreck when I'm trying to do something, as always. Okay. Okay, so not bad for my first play, right? Could have been better, but I'll take it. I'm coming. Not bad, right? Look at that. Even though I ruined it by. Ugh. This guy, I think he had my worm. I don't know, we'll see after. Okay, so here we go with the meat. Hey. Yes, I'm coming, Papa. Now the meat is a little bit very flaky because I left it in the fridge for a few days, which was a bad eye. Idea. Very bad idea. Still a little meat on there, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Hey. Yes, Papa. Okay, that's my son. He's going to be fishing with me when he turns of age. He's young, guys. Not the greatest fillet, but hey, this is actually this is actually the first time I filleted a porgy. There's still a couple of meat, some meat left on there, but look at the fillet, not bad, right? Even though I messed the stomach up and stuff like that, but not bad for my very first um fillet, I should say, right? Not bad at all. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff. And I'm going to cook this up and try to make some kind of sandwich out of it. All right? I'll be right back, guys. Yeah! Filet the first porgy. Uh, uh, uh. And the one thing I did was cut the bloodline out. Because I heard that if you cook it with the bloodline, it gives it a sort of um, different taste. So this is the first time I'm actually going to try a porgy. I usually fry them whole and the bloodline is in there. So I'm going to see what this tastes like. I didn't get a lot of pieces out of there, so... Just gonna fry it up and see if I can make a little sandwich out of it and see how that comes out. All right, so bear with me. Okay, so guys, this is what I'm gonna season up my fish with. I like crushed peppers. I don't, I have to have crushed peppers on this fish right here. Unfortunately, I'm not able to make um, a fish sandwich because there's, my daughter just told me that all oh, the bread is currently gone in the house. So I'm just gonna make some regular fish and get me some rice and put it together with it and just see how it tastes that's about it this is some lemon pepper right here okay hold on one second guys okay onion powder I don't want to kill the fish with too much because I want to taste the fish. Even though it looks like I'm killing the fish already. <laughs> and some black pepper. Blackened fish right here. Okay. Good. All right, I'm going to put some butter in the pot and we're going to move over to the pot. Put a little butter in my pot. The pot is kind of hot, guys, so. Put some butter in there. Okay, very good. Yeah. 
fish in the pot. The butter will melt as we go. I mean, it's not it's not the best fillet, but hey, I, I tried, and I think it came out came out pretty good for my first time filleting a porgy. Like I said, I always, I always eat my porgy whole. Never have I ever filleted my por a porgy before. So this is going to be kind of different and new to me. And I can't wait to see what it tastes like. Um, I don't have any bread to make a fish sandwich. So I'm just going to have some rice here and some vegetables. So that's what I'm going to be putting together and make a meal out of this. All right. So hopefully it tastes good. The fish is frying up. There we go right there. Shrimp in the pot. Okay, there we go. I had some, I see that I had some shrimp, so I said to myself, why not? Let's add it in there and see what happens. Okay, so this fish is done. All right, let, I'm gonna let the shrimp cook. I'm gonna take my fish out. Okay, guys, there we go. It's all done. Fish is finished cooking. I have some rice here with some veggies. I'm gonna take the fish and shrimp and pour it right there, just like that. Got a little gravy for the rice. Okay. We have some veggies right there, spinach and broccoli. We have some rice and we have our shrimp and porgy right here. The porgy broke up, but hey, it still looks delicious. As always, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Comment below and let me know what's the best way to fillet a porgy. This is my first time, but the next time I do it, just like I did to the sea robin, it's gonna get better, okay? I'm gonna enjoy this. Check out the rest of the videos, share with a friend, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn post notification on, all right? New videos every week. Sorry I'm late this week. I've been a bit busy, but as time goes by, it will get better, all right? My stomach is growling. I'm gonna enjoy this. Fisherman Squire, out.